Hello everybody, uh, this is Craig Deegan. Uh, look, I've been asked on numerous occasions um, why I've written this new introductory book and, and what was the background to it. We've all got plenty of things to do, so an obvious question is why did I spend quite a considerable time putting together this uh, new introductory accounting text. Now, as I've got on this slide, yeah, the reasons were really tied to, to issues like I really wasn't happy with how first year accounting was being taught in the university I was at. And I was also in terms of, you know, how it was being taught at many universities. In my personal opinion, I thought that the way introductory accounting was being taught in many universities, certainly not all, but in many universities, it really hadn't changed much in decades. And I thought, well, look, I really needed to contribute to this. You know, I've been working broadly across social accounting, environmental accounting, and financial accounting for years. And I thought, well, I can make a positive contribution. I have the capacity to. And I also thought I had a responsibility to. And I was very passionate about this project. I, I really enjoyed doing it. And yeah, on a more to, uh, on a more broader level, you know, I wasn't happy, on, as many of us are, I wasn't happy with where the planet was heading. Um, and I thought, particularly with business students, there was a, there was a, a need to instill notions of, of responsibility and accountability within our students. We're, we've got students that we, we have access to and we can make positive changes. So this book is you know, perhaps somewhat unapologetically values-based. Um, and look, when, we, when I was developing the book, we trialled it at RMIT where I was then, um, and it was very popular with the students. And what we found was the students having studied the material that's in this book actually started to think, well, actually accounting's really interesting. Who, who knew? Um, so it opened their eyes to just how rich accounting was or is. In terms of the differences uh, between this book and other introductory accounting books, one key difference is the structure of the book. Now we don't in this book, we don't go initially into things like debits and credits and straight into financial accounting. Rather, the, the early chapters explore the notion of, of what is accounting? What is accountability? What are the accountabilities of organisational man managers? We will emphasise sustainability and we'll use reflective questions throughout to get the students to reflect on various aspects uh, of accounting and accountability that, that are being discussed. Throughout the book, and it's incorporated right, right across the chapters, is an accountability model, a four-stage accountability model, um, which I'll talk about a bit more in a subsequent slide. Now, we want to instill an acceptance that there is a diversity of views on the accountability of organisations. Organisations, different people have different views about the responsibility of organisations, how that affects the perceived accountabilities, how that in turn affects the accounting that's being done. And we'll instill a broader notion of accountability for resources um, than, than is typically uh, embraced, and particularly financial resources and non-financial resources. We'll consider a broader notion of costs and values beyond what financial accounts would normally see as expenses and, and income and so forth. So we'll really consider costs and values quite broadly. And we'll look at how the, how the role of accountants has changed across times, time as different perspectives of responsibilities and accountabilities have evolved. The book comes with an innovative case study, which the students do through, yeah, as they read through the chapter. So it's one organisation and as they complete a chapter, the case study then addresses so it addresses the issues that have been raised in that chapter. So it evolves as they learn more, they then take that knowledge to this organisation that's, that's used within this case study. So that's proving really popular, this case study approach. Now, throughout the book, we'll emphasise the important fact that accounting is both a technical and a social practice. And as I've already alluded to, we will you know, really try to promote the view that accounting is thought provoking and exciting. 